Ryan Clark, Scott Van Pelt, Robert Griffin III on what Joe Flacco has brought the Browns and what he can mean to their playoff push going forward. The ball handling in the backfield is absolutely pristine. Yep. He also understands what he has on the other side of the football yep. in this defense. He knows that if he protects the football, he knows that if he hits an opportunity to make a big play, if I take care of the ball first and then look to execute and do something exciting, do something dynamic. Secondly, mm -hmm. that's how this team can win football games. Oh, yeah. And so I believe down the stretch, there are going to be a team that you don't really want to play because the run game travels, the defense travels, and now you have a quarterback who's seen the highest of the highs in the biggest moments. Thank you. And I don't care how much dust there might be on right. the trophies on the shelf. He's done that. And yep. in this year of so many different backups that we've seen out there doing the yep. very best that they can, Flacco's a guy that everybody in that room can look at and know this dude did it if yeah. you listen post game they asked Flacco to give a speech mm -hmm. it was absolutely quiet in the locker room and what does it say been, when the room falls silent to hear it man it's speak. absolute respect yeah. no doubt it's, about it's it. everyone in that locker room understanding that what is about to come out of his mouth is wisdom gained from experience yep. and that's experience and success and that is priceless in any locker room in Casey, again, Robert Griffin III, Ryan Clark, former players, tell you a little bit. What they're saying is the guys believe in the guy that is the quarterback right now. Yeah, when we watch, we see the arm talent, we see the ball placement, but that experience, you cannot go overstated. That win on Sunday was his 100th career win as a starting quarterback. That is so much experience. And that experience isn't, that experience is beating a Peyton Manning led Denver team that no one thought anybody could beat. Going into Foxborough and beating Brady and Belichick, winning a Super Bowl, like he, the experience matters 100% because when he gets in that huddle, when he takes command of the huddle, everybody in that huddle believes that they can get it done because that guy's done it before. You know, so it's, it's, that experience is invaluable. It's, it's something that, that this team, considering that they're on their fourth quarterback of the year, they could not have landed in a better position. The, the fact that this dude was on the couch three weeks ago is mind-blowing to me considering all the quarterback injuries around the league. Well, you know what? In a, in a year with all the injuries they've had, they're due for some kind of good fortune, and uh, it happened to be Joe Flacco for him at this point.